Before I start this video, guys, I want to personally thank every single subscriber. I have worked really, really hard to reach my second goal of 500 subscribers. <laughs> that was lame. Thank you guys so much. You have helped me reach my goal and it was a long journey. I have not been fully on YouTube for a whole year yet. It'll be a year. I would count January as officially being my full year as a YouTuber. I think I have a little over 500 subscribers now. So thank y'all for watching me and watching my journey. And thank y'all for liking me. You really, really like me. I want to give some shout outs because I think it is really time for some shout outs for some other channels. So I want to take this opportunity to shout out a few channels. So I hope that you're watching. I hope that you're listening because I want to send a personal thank you to a few of my fellow YouTubers that have shown me great support and great love. So the first person I want to shout out and the uh, person and also their video is Key to Life and I will have her information in the description below. I have her up on my phone and here is her channel but again I will leave all of her information in the description below. Key to Life is a fellow YouTuber and she has definitely been very supportive of my channel and has shouted me out on her channel and I want to thank her for that and also just want to show the same love and support for her channel as well. So her channel is all about fitness, lifestyle, food, travel, just a really nice channel so please check her out and her boyfriend, they are so cute together, they are like ride or die, I can already tell they're like ride or die. So they are super super cute so please check out her channel. The second YouTuber I want to shout out is April Ray TV and this is her channel right here and I will also leave her information in the description below. Just like me, her channel is also about hair, beauty, and stuff. So she does some really great things on her channel. Please check her out. She's been a great support. So April, if you're watching from Just Janine, thank you so much for your support for my channel. And I will definitely keep supporting your channel as well. So please go like, comment, and subscribe to both of these really great channels. I will oftentimes do these shout outs. I can't get everybody, but I know these two ladies in particular have definitely, I have seen them pop up quite a bit um in just my comments and also on my instagram so thank you so much and i do want to thank if i left anybody else else out i'm sorry it's not that i didn't want to shout you out i didn't want to recognize you but i do recognize you if, if i can't think of your name right now i want to recognize and appreciate and say thank you to each every person that has liked and subscribed and commented whether it be on my YouTube channel or also on my Instagram. So thank you so much. I just want to just put that out there. All right, guys, on to the video. Is that an echo? Is you snoring? Just Janine welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please don't forget to click that notification bell in today's video I am going to be doing a product review yeah! that's right I am going to be doing a product review for you guys on design essential naturals which if you've seen previous videos in the past hair videos I've done I have spoken about design essentials before I had a product uh, that they came out with some time ago which was the curl stretching cream which I absolutely love and I think I did yeah I did do a video I did a twist out which was my ver very first twist out video I did with the design essentials curl stretching cream so I will put it somewhere in the link so y'all can click on it and watch this old video. So I picked up two products from Sally. Sally's was having a special. I buy one, get the other one 50% off. I got the almond and avocado detangling leave-in conditioner. And y'all have seen this in the previous video, the last, I think the last video that I did. Uh, but this is the leave-in detangler. And I also got the moisturizing and detangling shampoo, which is sulfate free. So like I've said before, I am a big fan of Design Essentials. One, because they are a promoter of natural hair and they make sure that they do um, support the natural hair ladies and also making sure they don't have any a lot, a lot of chemicals in their product. Now I know Design Essentials is probably not 100% 
all natural but for the most part their products are natural and designed for natural uh, ladies kiki curly hair whatever your texture may be uh, me personally my hair loves design essentials it takes very well to design essential products so that's one of the reasons why i did not hesitate to pick up their products because they've been good to me in the past so what do i have to lose so i love the sleekness of the products i love the way that it's packaged i like the color of the packaging the kind of like a dark charcoal uh type color uh, with the black top so it looks it gives the look of ooh, this is high line and top of the line and expensive but design essentials for the most part is pretty affordable so if they had a bogo sale bogo sale <laughs> the first one was i think 9.99 ten dollars basically and the second one was 50 percent off so i came in and got a really great deal because you know this stuff it adds up you get two three more products and you know it, it can be very costly so like I do any product I purchase, I always smell it because I want to make sure the product smells really good because I don't want anything in my hair that stinks. This is just as soon as you pass somebody and they get a whiff of your hair. Yeah, I don't want that look coming from nobody. It smells sweet. It smells... It, it smells like a candy. I'm trying to think what candy... No, it's a bubble gum. It smells like bubble gum is what it smells like. Cotton candy bubble gum. That's what it smells like. That's exactly what it smells like. I'll tell you what it has in it. It has uh, almond, of course, avocado oils. And what else does it have in there? Of course, water is the very first ingredient. That's the one thing I do look for because if water is the first ingredient, then you know that the product is very moisturizing for your hair. Some of these words I can't pronounce. That's why I said it's not a hundred percent all natural but for the most part the the lot of the ingredients in here are natural but it's not a hundred percent i'm trying to find some stuff i can recognize <laughs> that's terrible I'm trying to promote this y'all uh okay here we go <laughs> we got sweet almond which i already said sweet almond oil avocado oil and fragrance and stuff but it's so fake free it's sulfate free, no parabens, no paraffins, no petroleum, no mineral oil, and it's very hydrating. Now, when I initially used this product on my hair, I did detangle my hair before I used this product, which I actually shouldn't have. I should have just let this um, do what it says, which is detangling. But when I did put this in my hair initially, when I was wash about to wash my hair, it has very great slip. And I noticed that when I started to uh, run the product through my hair, before I can even like get it all sudsed up, my fingers were just sliding through my hair. I have very kinky curly hair. You probably can't tell too well in this video, but my hair is super duper kinky curly and it can kink up really good if I do not have the right type of shampoo with good slip. So I definitely give this a huge thumbs up for slip. It does have slip appeal. <laughs> your hands, your fingers just glide right through your curls, which is really, really great because it's very moisturizing and nourishing to the hair. I wish I had not detangled my hair before using this product because it says on the bottle it saves you 30 minutes in detangling time. So I would love to have experienced the trueness of this product had I not detangled my hair ahead of time and just used the product for what it was for, which is designed to detangle because I want to make sure that I gave more accurate uh, reviews when it came to it doing what it says which is a detangling shampoo it's supposed to detangle so the next product I got was the detangling leave-in conditioner which I absolutely love and I love this product because it penetrates my hair very well it keeps my hair very moisturized and it also was really great for next day hair so I can have my hair in a bonnet from the day before get up when I'm in a hurry and I can just run it through my hair and it will immediately just bring my curls back to life and hold the curls which I really really love so it's, it's very penetrating to the hair it absorbs really good in my hair it doesn't have any stickiness or tackiness or film it doesn't leave any residue whatsoever which I really love because some of the conditioners I've tried in the past leave-in conditioners will leave this uh, white film or this white residue that sits on top of my hair and this product doesn't do it so I really really love design essentials for designing a product that penetrates into my hair and absorbs very well so I don't have that tackiness and walking around with this white film on my hair thumbs up design essentials 
So the leave-in conditioner is a detangling leave-in conditioner and it does exactly what it says. It does detangle and it does give my hair just really great moisture and also it gives it really great slip. And again, no silicones, no paraffins, no parabens, no mineral oils, nothing like that in their products, which I really like, no petroleums. And both of these product products are actually infused with almond and avocado oils, very nourishing on the hair. Um, and now the shampoo once uh, says that it will detangle even the curliest and coiliest hair texture. Well, I meet that because I have the curliest and coiliest hair texture. And if it works on this stuff, I'm sure to work on yours. So on to the smell of the detangler. Let's see here. Mm, it's not as sweet smelling as the shampoo, but it does have a sweetness to it. Now this one has um, jojoba oils and chamomile in it. It's definitely got, it's, it's, a, it's a, like a, a perfume type fragrance, but it's not strong. It's almost like, I don't want to say roses. It's not roses, but it smells like some type of a flower. I just don't know what it is. But it does have a slight sweet scent to it. Uh, very easy on the nose. And this one also uh, has the save up to 30 minutes and styling time. Now the shampoo was save up to 30 minutes in detangling time. Second day hair, third day hair, I can put this in my hair with just a little spritz of water if I want to or aloe vera juice and my curls are back popping like, like unbelievable. Hope you guys give these products a try. Again, if you have hair like mine, I promise you these products work really, really great on natural kinky coily hair. So I highly recommend and I highly prefer Design Essentials. It's definitely a great go-to. Now, like I said, I'm doing a lot of the DIY stuff. I don't mind switching over and going to some of the store-bought products. Um, if When I do go to store-bought products, Design Essentials is, is one of the main products that I do purchase because I do trust their brand. And like I said, they have not done me wrong. My hair loves their products. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me sharing this information with you on the Design Essentials. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, please comment, please subscribe, and don't forget to click that <coughs> notification bell. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next video. Happy hair growing. Bye.